It's officially um, two minutes late. There we go. Starting off with that. <laughs> <laughs> for our informal work session for Tuesday, January 21st. Um, we did not. Mark's coming at 10. Mm -hmm. so do we have anybody? We didn't have a schedule. Does anybody got anything for work session? To discuss. I could discuss. I have one thing I okay. could bring up. It's, it's very minor, but the, okay. the CSB parking lot, we we're going to try and bid that this winter sometime. Are we close to putting a bid out there? Or? I asked Tanya about that yesterday, and um, she's getting with Mark <clears throat> to get the specs narrowed down since we had such a huge yeah. difference yeah. last time. Yeah. Um, but we did just talk about that on Friday, so she's okay. going to work with Mark just with the weather. It's been, yeah. it's been kind of busy, so yep. but yep. that's yep. still on our agenda to get done like to get a bid so we have plenty of time to get yep. it done earlier in the year. That's all I had, Madam Chair. Okay. And then what was the other parking lot? That we were talking about because of the striping. That was tiny. That was the same one. There was that one? Yeah. Was that was the one that we That's were concerned? That's the Board of Elections area there. They're going to okay. stripe it the correct way and once they the put the black somewhere. top down. Okay. Yeah. That's the only one I knew of. Maybe there was something else. Okay. I guess one thing, just I don't know if there is much of an update that we could discuss now is um, with the with the issues in the county buildings that we had, um, job and family getting everything back in order. <coughs> They're operating without a hitch. <laughs> God bless them. Um, you know, with the, the water changes they had and they're in kind of makeshift offices and yeah. multiple, multi, you know, get, joined together in offices and space that was available out there. Um, did they get everything taken care of to get their carpet and moving things? Um, they have, the adjuster was up last week. Uh, Tanya took them over to all of our buildings and they've, we're proceeding with getting the carpets cleaned at the annex. I think we scheduled the sheriff's department to get their, car their carpet cleaned, uh, waiting on some information from the adjuster before we get too in depth at the job and family. I mean, they've started cleaning stuff out and they start ripping stuff out. But uh, we did find out that uh, Annex Building had another pipe go mm -hmm. Saturday. I think she said they were trying to prime the system back on after mm -hmm. the other one, and the opposite wall, same system. The other one went, but they were there when it did it, so there wasn't much damage. But must have froze at the same time, um, and they just. Oh, Probably, because the system was shut down until they could get that pipe fixed, and uh, they were trying to slowly yeah. prime it back on. And that's the sprinkler system. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, I don't know. Um, maybe when we talk to maintenance to Dean, it just the forecast they're calling for mm -hmm. is you know we're going to continue to have this. Sounds like next week is going to be rough again, um, and even yet yeah, tonight again below uh -huh. below uh, zero. But. Um, I don't know if there's anything he thinks that you, with our help, for your help, Stacy, to, to communicate to people to, you know, make sure you're checking these things in terms of what they're, you know, yeah. just, I mean, does it make sense to do the, I don't know if the controls are all set up with the conversion of stuff for the energy savings, but just not, I don't, do we keep temperatures on occupied temperatures or, or whatever is necessary in any areas that a potential concern? Yeah. They were supposed to have um, came through and turned off all of the unoccupied since we were having issues. We haven't got the system up and going yet. Right. So they were going to, Earl was here all last week and they're going to be back this week. They're actually at the CSB with an issue today. Um, they were supposed to go through and turn those unoccupied off because of the weather's being as cold as they are and the system not working, not complete yet. So that's been kind of an issue. Buildings getting a little chillier than what they should be. So, right. But uh, they're working on it. We probably ought to have Earl come back in for a update. an update, whether he'd want to do that at their first work session in February or if he wants to be on the agenda next week or something. But at some point and kind of run down, maybe it makes more sense to wait to that February. Um, give him a couple weeks lead time to sure, sure. where everything is at. Mm -hmm. So, I guess one more thing Dean mentioned to me, uh, just way of information, I don't know if he told you or not. Somebody got stuck back at the cemetery. They drove their car back and got stuck. Oh, no, I heard um, that. I don't know if it was halfway back or all the way back or where, and the tow truck didn't want to go back to pull them out. 
I think this was before the snow. Was this in the yeah, mud? It was, yeah, it was it when was everything mud. thawed out. So he temporarily closed the oh the lane. I said that was that was fine with me. Right, right. Okay. No, I hadn't heard that. Um, I don't know if in, we want to talk about the um, snow emergency. Just a, a little bit of follow up of what things we've talked discussed. That Stacy's worked on. The sheriff has, you know, have we got some communications with now, or save that for work sessions, or regular session doesn't matter. I don't care. Okay. At our last session, we had some discussions on whether we needed to change things. We had a sample of things of uh, shared with us that Ottawa County had done. Um, I think we kind of come to the conclusion that we didn't really need to change our policy as we have it, and in terms of how it affects our county offices. Um, but there's been. The, the, there were two prong concerns here was one employees and whether they do or don't when they get notified that kind of thing mm -hmm. and of course then there's the concern about the taxpayers coming in to utilize county mm -hmm. services um, and weren't and if we're not mm -hmm. opened right. and all of those kind of things but there was one thought on the employee side was in I, you, she shared it with me she may have shared it with you as well and I think <laughs> you want to bring up, up to date on utilizing a phone tree system mm -hmm. we already have in place with EMA. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, Sheriff and I spoke, it was the week after the, the weathers, the level threes we were getting, mm -hmm. and um, he has, currently he uses a uh, fax machine or email when he gets level ones, level twos, level threes that he sends out to, our office gets it, mm -hmm. but if you don't have an email, uh, you know, at home, or if you're only getting it sent to your work, you're not going to get it, so mm -hmm. he suggested maybe we get, if any of the elected officials would have an email, or even a fax, but it would have to be something, mm -hmm. cell phone, mm -hmm. that you'd be, have access to. And I said, okay, we can get those around. And I said, well, what about uh, EMA's uh, phone tree? Mm -hmm. And Sheriff said, yeah, he's used it before. He uses it with his deputies. And, mm -hmm. and so I called Dan and talked to Dan. And Dan said, yeah, that wouldn't be a problem. He'd give you detailed instructions on what to do. So I just got an email from the Sheriff this morning. He's, he's starting that trying to get phone numbers from the elected officials to see who would want on that list and for level ones, level twos, level threes. So you can set up a different group of people for different levels. So it looks like he's proceeding with that. And basically all it is is Sheriff would call into the phone tree, leave a message saying Seneca County is under a level one. The phone tree would call everybody in that group. It would it would keep calling until it either got a person or a voicemail, mm -hmm. and then it would leave a message. Okay. So at least that would get, mm -hmm. you know, we'd get that group, that contact list group set up. Okay. We wouldn't accidentally forget somebody mm -hmm. or, but that, mm -hmm. that would be all the elected officials, yeah. uh, department heads to yeah. still let their employees know. Um, well, that's another layer of safety there. I, I still think the level three, we're close at level three, that's so well advertised that it's... Right. It's right. Yeah, the only thing uh, with that, um, once the sheriff puts the level three on, our policy says, you know, we're closed other than obviously those essential e e personnel, is do we, a, he doesn't have the time for this, do we want to communicate out to even just, you know, local media a note from this office, I don't know where, from this office that would say due to the, you know, we're not calling it, but due to the level three, just a reminder, especially let's say the level three is called on a Monday morning. If it's called on a Saturday morning, I don't think then, you know, there's a concern. People aren't expecting the county offices to be open, but right. do we, or, or maybe there are, I don't, I don't know who, if anybody's open or whatever, Saturday. but uh, say due to the level three, just a reminder, all Seneca County government offices are closed. Don't want that to get construed with other things that have the word county in them that aren't our jurisdiction. However, it's a level three. I don't know if it's, I don't know. It's just, I don't want to add layers we don't need. But um, as Julie Atkins, auditor, indicates, she goes, I just don't want to miss the piece that to the taxpayers, to the public, that they don't try to come in and she's thinking, oh, well, don't have to go to work. I'm going to go get my dog tags. <laughs> You know, that kind of a thing, and we certainly don't want them doing that. Um, so, again, I, I see the common sense things. If, if it's closed, you think they know. I don't know if we need to if we need to do that extra minor step. I don't know if the, the media has any reaction to that or not, but, I mean, I can't imagine. You get so inundated with people's closings, delays, and everything else. If it 
one more thing is is necessary or not. I guess that's just something to ponder a little bit. I know, do you notify anybody when the when the offices are closed? I mean, do you notify WTOL so they run it, or what do you? Is there any notification of? It, no, other than like I said, to within our own personnel. It's just that when the sheriff calls it, you know, there's always been just the assumption we're closed and people know that, but do that. Not necessarily. Yeah. So I don't know. We might want to have a, yeah. you know, like utilize the media list to yeah. indicate something that due to, again, not saying that we're calling it, but due to right. the level three, Seneca County offices are closed. Again, personnel know that they're taken care of otherwise, you know, right. we have that too, so. I guess we can see how that what yeah. what that would take to implement. Again, I can't expect the sheriff's office to do one more thing right. um, beyond what they're doing because at that time they're obviously you know pretty busy. Right. But um, I'm, I don't mind doing that. I just somebody so if an elected official doesn't like it, I'll let them go. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As I said, it, it will, if it's the fact if they do indeed close because the sheriff calls the level three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th I guess that was the thing. Once in a while, somebody stays open. Once in yeah. a while, the court will keep. The, we got in trouble one time. Well, the court wanted to stay open, said we, we couldn't shut their, their building down. And then um, it just happened to be a payroll week. Uh -huh. And this was previous auditor, was not Julie, previous uh -huh. auditor. Um, one of their employees, they called and said to stay home. It was level three. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, they weren't real happy. It's payroll, they've got to come in. Well, it's a level three. They don't really have to. So, but that's that's that could be as easy as let the elected officials know that we're going to be doing this from now on that way. Well, at least ask. And then we can say, you know, this is a thing. If you want your employee to come in, you need to tell your employee they need yeah. to come in. Otherwise, we're going to post it so citizen doesn't come in. They get dog tags. That's up to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Because the other way around it then is that it's going to require them. Each individual office to if they're concerned about the public of sending out a notice and mm -hmm. that just indicates the the communications channel clogs it up with right. six or seven different offices calling them to say we're closed right so I guess maybe we gotta feel that out a little bit and see what as we're gathering numbers for this other thing now regarding public if we did this is anybody's what, what potential problems does anybody see yeah and if they start well, we'll leave it alone but I think we at least explore it. Okay. I mean, I, I put it on our social media that our office is closed, and I usually end up putting most county officers are closed. Please call ahead if you're unsure. Oh, so I cool. usually put that up on up on ours, yeah, on, on our website and our social media. So, but yeah, do is try and we use common sense. We hope. <laughs> well. We have 15 minutes where we can start our regular session and I know the other stuff I've got I would like Mark to be here for okay. um, just a little bit of discussion on the State Row 53 mm -hmm. study stuff mm -hmm. that's the only that would be an adjustment to the current agenda so I guess we'll just recess until right. 10 o'clock <laughs> take that yeah I want your toys <laughs>